Welcome, hello, hello, and welcome to my boat. Welcome to another episode of the Doctor of Healing, the Doctor of Energy. And I am the true doctor because I give you those thoughts which illuminate your mind and causes you to have the thoughts that are truly healing. Those thoughts are of how to heal yourself of even an incurable, so-called incurable disease. I give you those real thoughts that will provide the energy to get through your day, the energy to stay on this mountaintop all the time, the energy to do whatever you need to do to get any creative thought that you need to get, to write your books, compose your music. I give you the doctor of energy and I give you the thoughts that provide the energy. I give you the doctor of healing and the thoughts that provide the healing. So welcome to this time of power. This time with the man of the hour who has all that faith and power. And can give it to you now. And you will always be changed and forever better off after hearing these videos. So let's have a, an enjoyable time here going over these principles. I've had a marvelous day. I always so enjoy healing people. And I enjoy sending out these healing thoughts across the world. I enjoy putting on these videos that talk about healing and give you such powerful thoughts. And it's just so wonderful to be here. So wonderful to be able to do this. And I hope that I will always give you exactly what you need at the right time. So let us delve into the joy, the thinking that becomes joy to your soul of how that God has already provided all the healing that you can use. The healing power is here. It is here in Niagara's and here in oceans. It is here in all power. It is here ready to flow. It is here ready to go. It is here ready to make you glow. It is here to be a show. It is here to give it to you right now where you will be raised up out of any sickness or illness. If you're down in the dumps, you know, because you don't have enough energy for some reason or another. You're tired or you're upset or you're and otherwise down in the valley. The energetic thoughts coming from divine mind can so flow over your whole body and soul that you will feel like you can just run up a high mountaintop and jump over to the other side and jump over to a land of prosperity. You can just jump a mile high after, after hearing these energetic thoughts that I give you every day. It is marvelous. It is marvelous what we can, our mind can receive in and incorporate into our health, healing, and energy. Energy is available at all times for you and all times for me. And I am always ready to receive and put out these thoughts. The day has just begun for you because you're going to receive healing in your body and you're going to receive energy to your soul and to your mind. Let us be thankful then. Let us stop and always remember to be grateful for having these things. Be grateful for all this power which we are so privileged to have. It is a principle that the more you are grateful for, the more you will have. If you are always 
repeating that you are grateful for every thought of joy that you ever receive. If you're, you're grateful for every energetic feeling that you have, you are grateful, so grateful for every healing that you get, you will get more. We have to learn the art of gratitude. Just like we and I have to learn the art of gratitude for America. That's our biggest problem is people have lost the sense of gratitude for this country. We want God to bless America and yet we lose our sense of gratitude. We don't realize what God has given us so we're not thankful for it. But let us not forget to be grateful for all of his blessings and everything that he's given us. You have to be grateful for all of the inspiration that has come down through the centuries. Be grateful for the Bible. Be grateful for all the other great inspirational writings that have come down that help you to get healing and it inspire you to understand where energy comes from. And you get all that inspiration from these this material in these books that have come down to us. And we have to remember to be grateful for them, be grateful for our country, be grateful for the books, be grateful for the writings, and be grateful for everything that we have. That is a joyful thought that I'm giving you of how to get yourself ready for healing. And then Matthew 5 and 8 said, The pure in the heart shall see God. And First John uh, 3, 1 and 2 says, Behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. And now, beloved, we beloved, now are we the sons of God, and we know not what we shall be, but we know that we see him, we shall be like him, but we shall see him as he is. We have to be grateful for thoughts like that. Grateful and realize as I started to say Matthew 5 8. Purify your heart from all ungrateful thoughts. That's what it means. Take away all ungrateful thoughts, unjoyful thoughts, sad thoughts, depressive thoughts, uh, negative thoughts, and, and purify your heart to think only joyful thoughts, only peaceful thoughts, only wonderful thoughts, only magnificent thoughts. Think only divine thoughts. Think only thoughts of healing. Think only thoughts of how wonderful healing is and how, how easy it is for you to receive healing. How easy it is to receive energetic uh, energy to your soul and to your body. Think only those thoughts and realize that that is because the reason why you can receive those thoughts is because you are now the son of God and the daughter of God. And you are gradually becoming to the place where you can see him as he is. And that means to understand him as he is. And as we come gradually to understand him as he is, then we will be like him as far as I will be having the power to heal and go about doing good. The power will come to us to do good more and more as we begin to understand and see and realize what Jesus Christ was actually like. And so these are marvelous, wonderful healing thoughts. These are thoughts which will heal you every time if you really get the full gist of it. How many of us read those verses and never really know what they're talking about? Never really know that he said, uh, be ye perfect even as I am perfect. You can, you know, he's saying you can purify your heart of those thoughts that are destroying your, your health. You can purify your thought from everything that's keeping you from being perfect in body, mind, and soul, and perfect health. You can't do that. That's what he's saying. You are now the sons of God, the sons and daughters of God. And we know not what we shall be, but we know that when we shall see him, that we will be like him, for we shall, you know, gradually see him as he is. We'll gradually understand what he, he is really like and the power and where the power come from, where the healing comes from, how we get healing, how to go about healing, how, how we have the energy and power to do good. We'll gradually begin to understand those things and those things will put us on a high mountaintop where we can look over and see that promised land of all glory and all joy and all power and all peace and all wonderfulness and all miracles. We'll see it. It's the promised land of miracles. 
the promised land of being able to become a healer, to be able to heal people, raise people up, do miracles. We'll have that. We have that promise and we can march over into it and receive it. And then we can get a vision for our country like we've never had before that will see that prosperity that is coming. That will see and help us to understand because we understand Jesus as he is. We'll be able to understand how to put leaders in office that can also see him as he is. Can also see a great vision for our country. Can also see perfection. Can also see prosperity. Can also see success. Can also see everyone loving everyone else. Can also see a country where everything goes equitably. And can also also see a country where everything goes it goes uh, it is prosperous for every single individual. Everyone has an opportunity. Everyone can grow as far as their mind will carry them. Everyone can go as far as their character will take them. We will be able to judge them by their character because they'll have character. We'll have character like we never had before. We'll have we'll have great honesty, integrity, and uh, uh, and uh, a great sense of honesty and integrity in our mind and our leaders will be leaders of character, honesty and integrity. And they'll be transparent because they'll be pure in thought. The pure in thought, the pure in heart shall see God or shall see all goodness, shall see all prosperity. We will have that power and that energy. The pure in heart shall see energy, shall understand energy, shall understand healing, shall understand the true power, shall understand how to heal, shall understand how to do good. Oh yes, we will purify our mind and thought to receive all thoughts of energy and power. And we'll see why we are now the sons and daughters in God and how to manifest that. People talk a lot about manifestation. And yet uh, what we need to manifest is to understand how to purify our minds and our thoughts of everything unlike God and therefore make ourselves ready to receive Real energy and healing power. And then all other things will take care of themselves. We'll be receiving in the kingdom of God. In which it says. See if you seek that. And receive that. And understand that. All other things will be added. And that will be the same way with our country. If we have that vision for our country. Of putting in the kingdom of God. The way it should be. Of understanding of, of the things. Good things the way they should be. Good visions the way they should be. Then our country will be set on a hill. Will be a lighthouse into this world. And we will be able to shed abroad. The light and the understanding. Of all prosperity. And peace and power to all this world. And that will Give us such grace, such amazing grace as a country that God will be able to bless us in every way possible. And God will be able to heal every single individual because every single individual will know how to look up and receive healing and know how to receive this power and know how to receive this joy. And we won't have any need of, of talking about incurable diseases. We won't have any need of, of spending huge amounts on diseases. It just won't go away. Because we'll receive the power of God to heal all those things. We'll receive all joy, all happiness, and all peace, and all prosperity. And so I'm going to pray right now that this will transpire for you. I pray for each and every individual listening to this that they will Get in a place with that they'll be able to receive all peace and prosperity in their life. Oh, they'll be able to receive all of abundance. And they'll be able to receive healing of anything called incurable or curable. And they'll be able to be lifted up of all of their illnesses and all their lack of energies. And all their despondency, all their depression, obsession, or oppression of any kind or feelings of oppression or depression. And they'll be able to be lifted up out of any valley, uh, any low feeling, and lifted up and put on a high mountain of joy and happiness and prosperity of all kinds, prosperity of thought, prosperity of mind, prosperity of creative ability, prosperity of ability to write, to compose, and all those things. And Lord, that you will heal every one of their diseases and their illnesses and give them 
every joy and happiness that you have for them. Send them a treasure house of happiness and joy. Send them diamonds and jewels of joy and happiness. Diamonds and jewels of inspirations and new truths. Diamonds and jewels and uh, of, of all that it'll be like a house of built out of gold and full of diamonds, full of the diamonds of the truth and diamonds of the joys and diamonds of the happiness that you have for them. Pour it out upon us in all and mighty way now we pray in the name of the Holy Son Jesus. Amen, amen, and amen.